Hello all, welcome to the seventh video in Linux command line tutorial series. In this video, we are going to talk about man command. This is Karthik from TechGix, so let's get started by opening our terminal. Now we are in terminal. In the previous videos, we have seen five commands, namely pwd, ls, cd, mkdir, rmdir. And we will see more commands and the uses in future videos. It is hard to remember every detail of all commands we see and use. For this problem, we have a solution in Linux command line, which is nothing but using manual pages of commands. Commands in Linux have manual pages which contains all the information about that command. To open manual pages, we use man command. Let's see how to use man command by taking example of ls command let's see the manual page of ls command just type man give a space and type the command for which you want to see the manual page which is nothing but ls in my case hit enter it will take you to the manual page of ls command now we are in the manual page of ls command the first thing that we see in the manual page is nothing but the name of the command and it's small short definition ls command lists directory contents the second thing that we see in manual page is its synopsis or syntax of ls command syntax of ls command is ls with a space and options options are nothing but flags these options are surrounded in square brackets which means that these options are optional you can either use or you may not use to run the ls command they are not absolutely necessary to run the ls command these three dots here mean that you can use any number of flags with ls command as you need and then we give arguments with arguments and flags are separated by space here arguments of ls command is nothing but files note that in linux everything is considered to be a file a directory is considered to be a file a normal file is considered to be a file an app is considered to be a file an interpreter is considered to be a file shell is also considered to be a file so file has many meanings in linux here it means that it is a directory the argument is nothing but the path to a directory then these arguments are also optional in ls command which is specified by these square brackets and then we these three dots specify that you can give as many arguments as you wish the next thing in manual page of ls command is its description it shows a short description of ls command and what it does the next thing we see is all the available options or flags for ls command ls command has a lot of flags and then the next thing that we see in man page of ls command is exit status every linux command in linux gives some exit status to the shell if its exit status is zero it means that it is running perfectly if its exit status is 1 it has some minor problems ls command faced some minor problems it cannot access subdirectories if its exit status is 2 it means that ls command faced a serious trouble these exit status are used to print the error messages by the shell then next thing we see in manual pages of ls command is nothing but the author of the command the next thing is the links to the sites where we want to report the bugs of ls command and then the copyright of ls command then the link to the full documentation of ls command let's say we want to search for certain thing or for certain keyword in this manual page for that we can use the forward slash key in your keyboard just type forward slash you can see what you type here 
then enter the keyword you want to see let us search for long list long space list and hit enter to get the search results the first search result specifies to g flag here but we need l flag so going to the ne next search result to go to the next search result test press n key then n key we got l flag here we got what we needed here so you can just quit the man page by pressing q here it is mentioned q to quit we get to the terminal again let us see the man page of cd and see what happens gives that there is no manual entry for cd note that some commands in linux are shell built in commands means they come with the shell in built they have no separate files they have no manual pages but those commands the related information is in the manual page of the shell the shell we are using now is nothing but bash so let us see the manual page of bash we are in manual page of bash let's search for cd the first result doesn't get us then next search result scrolling through search results you can see that the cd command is described here you can use this description and then q press q to quit the manual page of bash note that if the manual pages are not enough for you you can use another command called info command which gives a large description about the commands we give to we give it as arguments let's say we give ls command we check the info of ls command it gives a large description of ls command you can press h for tutorial small h for tutorial you can experiment this that's it for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please give a like and subscribe to my channel to support me